Jay here from Stratford Paddock. This is a one-on-one -on -one interview. Joining me is Steve from the 1958. Steve, good to see you again. Thanks for coming back on the channel. No There's a big protest planned this weekend for the game against Nottingham Forest here at Old Trafford. Tell us a little bit about it. Um, well, it's a 60 minutes sitting. It's something we've not done before. Um, from our point of view, it's, it's going to be a barometer on you know, how much these fans really want the Glazers out and whether they're going to get involved. You know, from our point of view now, we've done everything we can to promote this. We've had uh, the Wolves game, 10,000 uh, leaflets distrib distributed. Uh, again, thanks to the TRA for that, they got involved with the, with the costings there. Um, we've had banners made, etc., etc. You know, we've done... Um, couple of spaces on Twitter now which have gone down quite well. So you've had a right yeah, yeah. crowd on that which is good yeah, to see yeah, people it, getting involved. Absolutely and in fairness they've been quite positive as well you yeah. know there's there's been none of the we was expecting a, a backlash of the empty old Trafford uh, crowd but we've had none of that and it's you know it's been quite positive so you know we've done everything that we can as a group now to promote it and it's just down to the to the match going fans to do their bit stay inside it's a 60 minute sitting Peaceful protest, you know, everybody's within the rights to do that for anybody that is concerned. Yeah. You know, there's no issues with staying behind. Um, so, yeah, it, it's down to the fan base now. For us, it's a massive barometer on, you know, if this is successful, then we can look at bigger, bigger options uh, moving forward with that. So, you know, we're looking forward to it and hopefully it's successful. When you say successful, what, what for you, what would success look like? Do you feel would it just be getting that message across there getting the publicity sort of hopefully well, edging it, them out of the door the glazers yeah i mean you know it, it's been questioned why it's been doing been done on a uh, game that's not televised in the uk uh, but what people need to understand that irrespective of being uk televised it's it's televised all over the world um you know again it's a visual protest um <laughs> It is what it is. It's something different, um, you know. Staying behind, letting everybody know, letting the club know that you know we're not happy still, um, and let's just see how it goes. You've said this is about it's giving the fans an opportunity because you go online, you talk, spoke about your Twitter space, you speak to fans. Everyone, the one thing that sort of keeps a lot of United fans united is the fact we want the Glazers to go, we want them to move on, and this is a great opportunity for the fans that are here to say, okay, look, we're going to show them that. Exactly that, Jay. For us, match going fans now can do their bit. It's a three o'clock kickoff. We've picked that intentionally that it's not really going to convenience pe inconvenience people too much. Um, staying behind for an hour um, and you know do your bit, make your voices heard. Um, we had a deal with the Flags UK guy to he did a discount for people that wanted to order banners. That's been, uh, you've had a good response from that. Not sure what the numbers are, but there's been quite a few flags ordered. So, you know, it's all about staying in. Um, if you're in areas where you feel that you may be sat on your own, there'll be other people about, just get together as a group. You know, if there's a flag there, get behind a flag. You, hopefully there's gonna be flags all over the ground, not just in the TRA. So, you know, it, it should visually be impactive. And it's a good opportunity as well for people to spread the word. So if someone asks you, someone doesn't know, you know, what you're doing, what's going on, you can let them know, can't you? can encourage others, if, you know, like you say, to take part. Absolutely. I mean, you know, we've, we, we're hoping to get a few chants going at the game. Um, you know, stay inside, love United, stay inside, whatever it may be. But, you know, it, it, it's down to fans now, Jay. It, we, as I said earlier, we can't do any more than we've done for this one. Um, it's a massive test to see the resolve of the United fan base and whether they're willing to just, you know, an hour out of the time after the match and let the voices be heard. Because me and you were talking off camera before and we saw it earlier this week where we have, we see certain newspapers, or one newspaper in particular, running a story that all oh, the sales are about to go through and you look at it and you think, it's, it just feels like nonsense, it just feels like PR and we've heard all, we've been here before haven't we, we're still waiting. Yeah, it, it's, it's, you could set your watch by the, the media reports, you know, we, we've we've already been linked with Ivan Tony in January, you know, trying to appease the fans. All right, well, the sale's on its way. It's we've heard it all, and you know, coming from the sun, it's not probably the uh, the most well, hashtag don't thing. buy the sun. Yeah, you can say that. It's okay. <laughs> yeah. You know, so as you know, it's 
it's it's so obvious what they're trying to do as a club is to appease fans and let's be honest for a lot of fans it's easily done yeah um but you know trying to appease fans by snippets going out there the club's looking like it's sold it's not let's be honest no we're looking at signing this player or that player we're already looking in a january transfer window i mean this transfer window has been like every other glazer transfer window an absolute mess from start to finish um, as we were speaking earlier offline that you know we might scrape a signing or two together before the, the the you know the deadline however as a squad we haven't improved no so, and, it, and you know you, the squad the stadium there's so many oh, parts of this club yeah. that need fixing and you look at the root of the problem and it goes back to it's, it's the glazers. glazers it's always the glazers they're not willing to put their hand in the pocket you know as you rightly said the stadium is not what it used to be you know, you, you, the women's team. We were talking they, about they, it today. And Mary Earps has been linked with a move, and you worry, don't you? Because they're yeah. not getting the backing they need. No. Well, the two, you know, the uh, Russo leaving uh, on a free. You yeah. know, it, it, it's just something's going on where these players don't feel like the club is moving forward. Otherwise, they'd stay, wouldn't they? So, yeah, it, it's not good all round. Uh, just finally, on the you spoke about earlier, just to elaborate a little bit on the the, the nature of this process because it is different. We've seen the process where it's been, we're going to go in a little bit later. We've had protests outside here, of course, before games. We've seen protests where it's, you know, it's been sort of a march. This is something a little bit different. What, what made you guys think of doing it this way this time around? Um, I think, first and foremost, it's probably an easier option for people to get involved. You're already in the stadium. Yeah. You're already at your seat. Just stay in there for an extra hour. That's all we're asking. Um, so, you know, we've made it as easy as possible for fans. Um, you know, as you've said before, we, we've tried other options with the leaving early, uh, sorry, yeah, leaving early or going in late. You know, when five or 6,000 people do that, when you're outside doing that, it yeah. looks great. But visually, when you're inside, five or 6,000 from 75,000, you don't see I remember it. that. I remember when I was leaving early and people were asking me, did anyone leave? I'm like, yeah, because yeah. I'm outside yeah. here with a load of people. But like you say, it's been, this is a bit different in it because you it can is. see that and people I mean, know about it. It was like the uh, the Villa protest. I mean, you know, it, it went well. Yeah. Um, but when you watch back on live TV, probably the only way you knew anything was going on is there was smoke from the floors bellowing yeah. slightly through into the ground but other than that you wouldn't have known so it's difficult hopefully we get the people and the numbers behind us for this one it'll look great you know <laughs> the good thing is is that as a, a being a, a test the fans get behind this we'll look at doing something bigger and better next time and I look forward to that. I do. I really do. And keep up the good work. It's Thank always you, great Thank chatting you. to you. So make sure you are getting involved. And listen, if you're not coming to the game against Forest, that doesn't mean you can't get involved. Go and check out the 1958. There's a link to their Twitter in the description. Get involved on social media. Spread the word. Let people know what is going on so that the fans that are coming to the game against Nottingham Forest can take part in an important protest to get the message out there to the Glazers that it's not acceptable what is going on at this football club. Steve, always a pleasure. Make sure you are hitting like, share and subscribe. I've been Jake Murray. That's been Steve from the 1958. Thanks for watching.